Hi, it's Miss Lee, and welcome to Weekly Weather STEAM. So our activity for today is to talk a little bit about sunshine. So unfortunately, out my window, I usually do a weather check each day at the window. Um, I have some thunderstorms brewing, so I don't think I'm going to get to see the sunshine today. But hopefully where you're living, you're going to see some of that. So here we go. Uh, so normally we do our weather check. So I want you to check out by your window what your weather is like. And like I mentioned, we're going to talk about the sun. So if this, if you are out in space looking back down, this is a simplified version of our solar system. So that means this is the sun. And these are all the planets that orbit around the sun. So the sun is our closest star. So it's what gives us our warmth and our light. Our motion around it gives us our seasons. And what part of the Earth is facing the sun is what gives us our night and day. So I want you to first stand up where you are. So you see we have our sun on the screen. So you're facing the sun. So if you're standing up, we're going to pretend that you are the Earth. So right now on the Earth, we're facing the sun, right? So this is our daytime. But I want you to turn around. You are rotating. Now you're facing away. This would be your nighttime. And whoops, I have a wire. <laughs> Back to day. So that rotation where Earth spinning around itself is what gives us our night and day. So aside from that rotation, we also revolve around the sun. So we make a big circle once a year, it takes a year to get all the way around the sun. And that's part of what gives us our seasons. But I don't wanna make this total class about space, but the sunshine also, like I said, it gives us our warmth and it also helps the flowers bloom the grass grow, the trees, and that helps give us food. So that starts off our food chain because animals and other are going to eat the grass, they're going to eat fruits and vegetables, and it's going to start off the whole food chain. So the sun is super important for our planet. But so is rain sometimes, like I'm having today. So we need the right balance. We need sunshine and we also need rain. And all, the sun is also what helps kick off the water cycle, which is what brings on rain. Uh, so the water cycle just shows you the way the water moves through the planet. So most of the water is in the ocean. But when the sun comes out on a nice warm day, no clouds, it heats up the surface of the water. And that water starts to what we call evaporate or go up into the sky. But eventually it cools down and it starts to form a cloud. And this is called condensation. But once you have enough condensation, the rain, or sorry, the water and the moisture will start to gather in that cloud and it's going to get really heavy. And that's going to lead to right over here, precipitation, which is what I'm getting today. So the water in the cloud gets too heavy after a certain point and it falls back down to earth and then the whole cycle repeats itself the water finds its way back to the ocean heats up and evaporates so that's why we call it a cycle it's like a circle so the sun is what helps kick all of that off so that is our little bit about the sun so for our actual activity Today was more, more of putting the A in STEAM. So STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. So each week we kind of do a different combination. So this week was really more about art. So what we were making is our own sunshine. So with a plate, we either painted it or colored it yellow. And then I used some yellow construction paper or you could use white and paint it or color it and I attached it to look like the rays of the sun. 
There you go. So here is our sunshine. And one other fact was the light from the sun. We saw how it was just like a burning ball of gas. It takes about eight and a half minutes for that light to leave the sun and come to the earth. So about the length of this video is how long it takes for the light from this sun, which is our closest star, to reach our planet and help kick up all those wonderful cycles I talked about. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful.